name is uh, Donna Burns. I'm the resident of Whitewater Township. I'm also the president of the Renfrew Nipissing, Renfrew Pembroke Nipissing chapter of the Ontario Landowners and governor for the Ontario Landowners. What, uh, what I'm hearing and what I've been seeing is, first of all, the province owns 87% of the land mass in Ontario. Private po property only owns 13%. Provincial policy statement is only a guideline, it is not law, it's not legislation. Therefore, as far as this, uh, and the municipalities, your authority is on municipally owned property, not on private property. <laughs> now, I sent all the municipal, all the county, officials, the, all the mayors and the reeves, plus the planners, a couple of reports. One was a planning in Ontario report that was fully researched by the Ontario landowners to give an explanation on our version of the planning. We provided footnotes that provided the actual information for research so you can back up this information. We also gave you a report it was a Dalton McGinney report from 2003. I have a copy of it here. And it's a blueprint designed to shut down small, rural, and remote commun communities. I asked you specifically when I sent you this information to refer to page 32 on their settlement strategies. I'll quote a couple of things here. The province should also consider restricting further settlement expansion and would not guarantee access, indicating where it would not guarantee access to public service. Another portion of it is, one part of this settlement strategy will be to devise innovative methods of planning for downsizing or is defined about planning for decline among existing communities. This will initially require convincing communities that their future is smaller, and then working with those communities to achieve the, thr the shrinkage. You refer in your presentation here about a, a growth for 60%. That's not in their plan. It also talks about in those communities without sufficient Potential, the goal of provincial policy should be to facilitate downsizing in an orderly and systematic way. This report's 13 years old. Here in Renfrew County, we've seen the loss of schools, we've seen the loss of post offices, we've had uh, expand, uh, Highway 17 expansion, it's been stopped for now, they say. We've had um, what else have we had? We've had recently, we even had uh, provincial campgrounds or private campgrounds now that are going to be looking at shutting down because of the CRA thing. So the intent is not to increase growth. It's obviously designed to reduce it and reduce the population in our small communities, in the rural area, and even those remote communities. Our water systems and everything, we all want clean water. Nobody disputes that. Since this report, we've had a, an abundance now of sensitive lakes prop up all across, the, all across the province. It's interesting that all these municipalities also have the same common denominator that controls the water sewage plants for these water bo bodies of water, called Aqua, a governing agency to look after it. We have now, and there's regulation now against these private property owners around, against, around the waterfront that's going to restrict them from what they can do. They can't go in their lakes. It's decreasing their property values. What's going to happen, you can see the picture happening down the road, they're going to leave their properties, decline in population. Now with these land designations that are going to be applied against private property, the intent again is to decrease the property values and remove us from our land. The province wants our 13% private property. That's my opinion. 
and it appears to be that way. And this process that you've done with it, that you have done in having this uh, public plans on going on the implied consent, on the implied consent, because nobody's here to object to these meetings, we've got a great attendance tonight, but in the, in the last six meetings there hasn't been, to assume that these people are approving this official plan is wrong. It's looking what you're doing and what the province is doing is the province cannot do directly what it cannot do indirectly. And they're using you as a municipality. They are putting the municipalities at risk of civil litigation, and that's in your municipal act, section 448.2, that puts you at risk for civil, civil litigation brought against you from the, all these property owners that are getting land designated without their consent. This is an attempt to expropriate land without compensation and is a huge violation in the Expropriations Act. So I hope you will reconsider this. If you want the official plan, apply it to municipally owned property, remove the land designations on private property unless those property owners want it themselves, and go with that. Just in closing, I'd like to put it on record that my property at 603 Mindview Road, I do not consent to it being under the within the municipal planning area of this official plan. Thank you.